Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I have a great pleasure to speak with Esther, who is based in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Esther, hi. Uh, good afternoon. How are you today? Hi, uh, Edward. I'm very good. I'm very curious uh, how you became who are you today. I understand that your background is pharma and healthcare, but uh, I would like to know more like how you became actually who are you today and what you are doing today. Yes, uh, thanks. I mean, I'm very uh, honored that. I get this invite from you. So coming back to your question. So basically, like I'm a pharmacist. I started off in an operation background. I was do I was a manu manufacturing operation pharmacist, which I produce drugs basically. So that's how I started my career. Uh, I wasn't really happy. Uh, I think I I, pre I mentioned to you before. Um, so what happened was um, I I spoke to the the big. Uh, people in the company and I opt for a change <laughs> but it was it was quite some time ago I mean when I first started working uh, so when I opt for a change I told them that I wanted to go to the commercial world uh, which is I, I think back then it's still quite rare for pharmacists to do that most of the pharmacists would stay in a clinical setting and in the industrial area as well but it was quite rare for you can get pharmacists out to knock at clinics and pharmacies, hey, do you want to buy this drug, you know? So I, I was happy enough to try that out and turned out to be like, I think I did quite well. Uh, very quickly, I, I went into uh, marketing mm -hmm. uh, and I was like uh, promoted very quickly as well. So from uh, my journey was, I started being selling and then started to train people to sell uh, and then started doing marketing. Uh, from local business until international business. So my last job, basically, before coming out and running things on my own, was an international business. Um, I was traveling all over the world before this, yes. <laughs> okay, so, so Isra, how did you decide to start your own business? So somebody who is working in uh, healthcare and pharma, that's kind of two industries which are working very well nowadays. But however, you decided to start something for yourself. What was the your motivation to start your own business? Well, um, I, I would say my motivation was a lot to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and a lot has... And another motivation was the external part. Because I wanted... Uh, when I was... When I start to work, you see, I, I just go crazy. You know, I just focus on it and I go, go, go. But to the extent that I realized that I didn't have time for myself, uh, my health was from like that to like that, you know. I was sick almost every week, you know. Each and every time I, I travel out of the country, even just to Singapore, I would come back having sore throat, cough or fever every week. So my schedule uh, back then was pretty hectic. It was like uh, in a month, I would probably travel like three to four times. <laughs> so it's every week basically. Uh, I'm living mostly on suitcase and in hotels. So it was very, very, very tiring. Um, and the fact that because I was doing medicine, I was producing medicines, I know very well about medicines. So if I get sick, I don't take them. <laughs> yeah, I don't take them. So what happened was... Um, uh, sooner enough, I realized that I need to take care of myself mm -hmm. uh, because I wasn't going anywhere. I was too stressful. I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. You know, everyone from the outside would think that, wow, you get to travel like that almost every time and you make a living out of it. You know, that's fun. But we all know that those who does traveling at work doesn't really sells fun. Uh, so that was the motivation for me. and. Uh, I was actually doing like part time mm -hmm. at the beginning. Uh, that's why I started uh, my online business on selling supplements. Uh, so I was doing that at the same time, right? So slowly I let go of my corporate uh, because it's like you know it's like an intersection point whereby you need to let go so that this will grow, right? So I let go. Uh, also partly because uh, my health was getting really, really bad. So I was saying maybe it's also a good time to rest and you know do my own thing at the same time and find out what's next in life because 
I've I've achieved almost everything at my point of view, uh, at a checklist. So tick 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 tick, which I don't recommend everyone to do that. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so it was it was really an experience for me because I today if I would to advise someone I would probably say don't do that you know it's 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 good to what you achieve but it may not be good for yourself uh, but in order for us to move forward you know we have to be good to ourselves first so that's when I started to focus on the online business and focus on healing myself so it's quite strange. Uh, because, like I said, I, I know what Western medicine can do. <laughs> and I, I produce them, right? So I know what they have. I, I know how to find good sources and stuff. So I was very picky with my supplements. And to be honest, back then, before I actually started running my own supplement bus- business, I never take supplement in my whole life. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, I've always had this like five-year goal, you know, before the age of this, I need to achieve this. True enough, I get it. But, you know, the, the moment was just a second or point second that you get it means you get it, you know. That's all. But I realized along the way, the journey is more important than the end result. So, it's like, I got it. The moment I get thank it. You, thank it, you for sharing. It's, this is so powerful. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's so empty. And to be very honest as well, I, I had to go through very vulnerable stage it's it's not easy um and because i started to have growth uh and i realized a lot to do with self because i put so much pressure and everything and like i mentioned you know everything comes by just like that i was into health and everything so i went on researching even more about it and i found like uh, alternative um treatment and today, what I'm doing is I, I'm actually practicing both Eastern and Western and holistic together as a, as a whole treatment. So, because, yeah, I think they have roles yeah. to play. And you told me before this interview that you have a, a business partner and partner who is uh, living in, in the Europe. Yes. So can you also ex- uh, share a little bit more how <laughs> you find your uh, business partner and what you guys now trying to do it together. <laughs> this is a very interesting story, yes. Um, I can tell you, like while I was going through this soul-searching journey, I went to do many things. I Spiritual, it's, it's basically a lot of spiritual uh, process, spiritual healing and stuff like that. So uh, along the way, uh, I ventured into Chinese metaphysics right uh i'm not sure how many people is aware of it but basically it's like a, it's like an astrology but in a chinese form right so part of what i do now it's a consult as well uh because i i was at first frustrated uh of why i am like that you know so i went and find out like okay what's the main cause of it you know i like to dig stuff so i went and study myself i paid money to to read consults uh, to just to those you know people who give consults on on these kind of readings, and I was like, no, you know, I have to learn it myself. <laughs> it's like I want to take control of my own life. Not everyone is like that, but it's just very much of my character because along the way I realized that there's many wisdom behind this, behind all these things. Behind, it's not about fortune telling, and I've met many, 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 many helpful people. One of it is my my business partner. And uh, we, we are sort of like a community. Uh, and even though it's nothing much related directly to health, but it developed my inner being. You see, I got, I grew up much more and I found my true passion. And, you know, I had the courage to pursue what I want. You see, so it's, it's, uh, it's true Chinese metaphysics. And I would say this tool, which I have a separate uh, consulting arm by myself, uh, helped many, many people to pursue or, you know, be more clear of what they want in life so that they can move forward from what is stuck to to somewhere they want to go. Because that was my problem in the first place. <laughs> yeah, so it, I would say because of me being so stubborn, of, you know, having a checklist and everything, and I found out, like, my checklist isn't real, you know? 
what made me think about my checklist is what I want. Perhaps everyone has one too, <laughs> and it's quite common. <laughs> uh, but perhaps that's not what they really want because in life we are we are surrounded by many, many factors, you know, how how we are today, who we are today. It's a lot to do with ourselves, uh, a lot to do with our conditioning as well. So I would say all this affected my health. From my health, uh, I relate and search into this and that's how I find my business partner because I met him through my courses. Uh, I was studying uh, a mastery so I completed my Chinese metaphysics mastery course. Uh, it's I'm not sure whether you 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 are aware of Chinese metaphysics, but he's the world uh, largest uh, metaphysics uh, consulting group, Joey Yap. Uh, and I'm very very grateful that I've learned and I have the privilege because you need to pay for these things, you see. And I'm very lucky to to be able to afford the kind of uh, education. That's that's why I wanted to give it out. <laughs> Uh, and and we all in if if you all know Chinese metaphysics and we all know Chinese medicine, fear is associated with the first line of uh, defense in our immunity. Yeah. So, if one could yes. just focus on the fear, they would get sick very easily. So we would always encourage a lot of our patients and clients to focus on just adapting it. You know, don't focus, uh, into, uh, you know, waiting for things to just be over and waiting for the vaccine to come and stuff like that you know waiting it's waiting and praying miracles will happen it's not the solution right now because we we have to be you know grounded move forward adapt is the key so adapt in terms of physical and emotions and your mind as well because if all these three points don't align you know example if it's just your uh, mind you know you you think all the time, but our body can move. Probably our body would just stop because our mind is pulling us back. So this this is a very important alignment that we we always share with our customer. Your mind, your body, and your emotions have to be aligned. So a lot has to do with um, you know perhaps what what would what we can do in a daily basis. Really, is like if one do meditation, you can meditate to calm down. Okay, uh. We, we cannot control the virus, right? All we can do is how we react to the virus, you see. So, in fact, many people will say that, ah, there's so many opportunity now with the virus going on and stuff like that. It's true. But you have to be able to see the opportunity before you can even take action. So, but many people were just saying it, but not able to do it because, you know, maybe they're just saying it, but in their mind, they're actually very scared. So we encourage a lot of uh, practice in terms of uh, if exercise works for you, exercise, you know. If meditation works for you, meditate. What's important? Look forward. Don't look backwards. If you start to feel fearful, focus into something that will make you productive. Also to learn. Learning is the key. You told me like yes. your partner is now, so, uh, you are separate because of... Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He cannot travel, and if he travel, he, he yeah, we can't one. we can't run our business, you know. <laughs> but you guys, you adapt to the situation, yes. and you deal with the situation instead of just you know, oh, this can happen only to me. What should we do? So you adapt, and you are moving forward. So, what would be your advice for the people uh, to adapt? What we have to be careful about, just keep social distance, social distance, social distance, so there's much more what we can do to protect ourselves. I, I think, I think uh, the, the world itself, uh, every country itself, is doing a good job in delivering the kind of, uh, you know, being social distance, you know, what you're going to do physically and stuff. But that is just what you can do to prevent the virus. Yeah. But you see, it's important for us to look forward. And the key word is like mentioned, adapt and learn. The moment we start learning something, right, okay, we automatically will adapt. I I can tell you, we never was on internet. I can honestly tell you that. But the moment things happen, we have to, you know, start learning how to do it, you know. For those who have resources, they can hire people to do it. For those who don't have, pick up a course, right? Like Udemy has so many courses. So it's a very good way for us to, you know, 
um, shift our uh, attention or divert our focus into growing by learning. So I I I I I never was a person who is like that, you know. I always thought that learning always stops in university. But these days, learning is the key to growth. So at this point in time, it's a very important time and also very easy time for us to grow. So this is when uh times like this, it's when they separate out the survivals and and the non-survivals, and it depends on just one action, learning, I would say. Isir, thank you so much. This is beautiful and very powerful message. I'm very happy that you share your insights thank with you. us. And uh, welcome to our community one more time. We are looking forward to learn from you and uh, from your experience. And uh, we also hope you, you can learn something from other members as well. Yes, definitely. I've been watching, I've been watching some of the videos. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. I think, uh, Edward, you're doing a great job uh, by sharing and having this community for others. Thank you. Thank you.